interviews, and I watch a lot of life videos. I watch a lot of mental health videos. I, Coming out, I watch a lot of um, dating advice videos. Instagram is not no bullshit. Yeah, it's not no it's bullshit. Straight. It's content yeah. and shit like that. Oh my god. Nigga, all the books over there in that library is me, nigga. Yeah. And they're not like fictional books and shit it. like this. Oh like I got some books too. Oh my god. Yeah, bro, I'm heavy on that book shit. Uh huh. I ain't heavy on it yet, but I'm getting on it. Nah, it's a slow grind. It's yeah, it is. There's books up there that I uh -huh. still order that I ain't even touched yet. Yeah, yeah, it's type just, it. I'm I want to lock that in the library. Like, okay, yeah. Sometimes I just like to go through a chapter or something or a page just to, just something even to hit me. Like, and I let the shit just, I let the universe decide whatever it is and whatever yeah. I need to see. I got books on body language, uh -huh. nigga. I'm good. This, like bro, <laughs> you sound like bro, me, I'm, but oh god. Bro, my 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 library nigga, if you get high enough and you get cool enough, bro, you can go check it out. Bro. My library is cool. it's amazing, bro. Alright, so boom. Can't get this shit nowhere else, nigga. I ain't here for nothing. I'm not saying I can't turn it up louder. Alright, uh -huh. so the like right now, everything I got it on uh -huh. is max. This okay. program right here is called Sound ID Reference. Now what it does is it takes this mic right here and it measures my room. Uh huh. Even though I got it acoustically set, it's still a frequency balance. And yeah, what I'm trying uh -huh. to do is get that shit as straight as possible. Yeah, so you see, it. so you see before is that purple line and after the calibration is the green. Let me take the green because that's going to confuse you. Okay. So that purple line is what my room basically sound like before the, uh -huh. before the program did its thing. Mm -hmm. and after it flattened out the frequency across the whole shit. Okay. So basically my shit is a flat sound. So whatever you're hearing is exactly accurate. The, the room and the windows and the glass pane is not affecting that at all. Right there, right? Alright. Alright, so you can hear it, yeah, it's pop. See, I was just explaining I'm I'm literally explaining everything to him right now. When he go out, he gonna hear it again. Like, like everything just stopped. Yeah. If y'all if y'all get a little studio set up, I'm 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 gonna show them how to like, cause you don't gotta do all this to get that right that effect. Yeah. At all. So basically, this program just makes the shit flat. Okay. And it's called Sound ID Reference, cause what you could do now that the sound is flat, now I can go to shit like, if basically it's, what it what it basically good for is mixing and mastering. Okay. Man, I, I want to get an accurate sound. Cause nigga, when this shit is not on. I ain't gonna lie, bro, you teach me a lot. I wanted to introduce you to that, because everything you're going to hear is going to be accurate. Okay, then. Now, I could, at any point in time, you tell me to crank something up, I could easily just, because right now it's at a, it's, it's called right. safe headroom space. Right. But you, when you mix and master, when you really listen to music, you really uh -huh. want to, you ever had a loudness problem? Yeah. Let me tell you what's happening. You mix and master on the recording with your shit high already. Yeah, yeah, I'm, that was that when I first first started. Like when I got my first mic, that when I was like sixteen. It's right there. Back when I was like sixteen, mm -hmm. uh, when I had my first mic. I used. I ain't realized that for a long time. I used to be like, what the fuck? I'm I still, bro. I, I know that, and I still have. I still get caught up in that shit yeah, because we just get carried away. Yeah, you know, we do. Oh yeah. And then I'm like, I know I got to hear from music. So when I caught on, it took me like two days to catch on. When I caught on, I was like, okay. So then I had to start remembering, cause like you say, we get carried away and shit. So mm -hmm. I, I used create, to get, it's, it's yeah. called the creative process. Oh God! But no funny shit. after like doing it for like some months, I got it down pat a little and, bit. Oh and it varies depending on the material that you exactly because all, all of it is different type of yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah, all exactly. of it is different. Exactly. You can't use the same shit for everything. I tried it before; it didn't work. Mm -hmm. Oh God! I tried to use the same like for my regular rapping. I tried to use the same edit, but throw auto tune on them, and it, it sounded on. nasty. I'm like, um, so I had to switch it up, learn a whole new preset. I'm like, damn. Nah, what you do is you learn, uh, 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 what is it called? Like, a, uh, just a, basically you don't use presets. You, you, what you want to do is, 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 you got just a set of plugins. Like, I know okay. for certain, so like me, I got to a point where if it's like some vintage shit, I'm going to okay. use analog shit. And I know the set of analog plugins that I'm going to use or the set of analog processing. I'm going to see I got this shit up here. Yeah. It can add a different little texture to your voice as you're recording and shit. And okay. it come with a built-in compressor and things like that. Mm. So if I'm doing something like Trappy, I know that that's not vintage of analog at all. So that's digital. That's going to be straight cuts. Yeah. That's new age type shit. Yeah. So yeah. it all, it that has just depend on the material. Yeah, like, yeah, okay. You never know what the fuck you're mixing. I could go for presets. But even when I pull up a preset, I'm going to probably do a little quick editing and shit. Like okay. these shits, 
You do edits with these. Okay. Like for your whole, and this is how your room sound, not even how the beat was sound. Oh, okay. This shit is crazy. Okay, yeah. Nah, you put me on, too. Sure. But with loudness, nigga, when you mix at the top, and it's time for your shit to get, because zero dB is zero D fucking B. Yeah. It's no more than that. It's, it, there is more, but that's all peaking. So yeah. when you when you mix in the management and your shit and your main volume is low or this is low and you keep everything low and you mix the master by the time you mat by the time you finish your shit probably gonna be mad like your max volume probably gonna be here right mm -hmm. but when it's time to master you bring everything that you're hearing all the way up so now your shit super duper loud all mm -hmm. instruments are super duper loud mm -hmm. it's, it's really hard to explain uh, yeah. but the shit crazy as fuck nah I definitely get what you're saying but so at any point in time you want me to turn something up, just let me know. Cause Bet. now I turn it up here, here, here. Bet. It's like four or five different spots. I could really blast this shit. Uh, how long you been using? This program? Uh-huh. The program. This program probably like four years. I just discovered this shit. I just got the shit that you could use out the speakers because I started with the headphone joint. The headphone was good because I was fucking with the laptop, but I'm like, I wanna take this shit to the next level. I wanna mm. make shit and grow and shit. Because okay. it's still it's still not as accurate. The headphones is the most accurate thing you could use this shit with. Okay. Because that yeah. shit locked onto your ears. It's yeah, nothing. Yeah, uh -huh. like, I could that bring something in here and it'll change the whole frequency of the room. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, Because uh -huh. of the because the way the shit bounce off the wall. Yeah, uh -huh. So I I gotta keep everything pristine. Like before I had a couple of shit in here, but I wanted you to get an accurate sound in so long. I'm like, let me clear it up and get back to this yeah. regular flow. Cause I would have to do See, I knew I wasn't tripping. Again. I knew I wasn't tripping because like uh them songs I was letting you hear when I was recording them. Based off the mic I got, I forgot which mic I got. It's a blue mic though. But based off the mic I got, I noticed in my room or how all the shit was set up. I had to sit a certain mm. way. So I got uh my table not like this. I got a little little gaming desk. My shit got the little outside too. Hello. Uh -huh, I got that motherfucker. Okay. So when I usually record, I usually sit my mic in front of it. It's in front of my my window with my big curtain. So goddamn, when I record in front of that like that. It'll sound more like it'll echo more because mm. it's bouncing off the window. It's a reflection. Yeah, it's reflecting off the window. It's reflecting off the window. Think it sound like this. Every time you say something, think of it that as imaginary error. So I'm uh -huh. pointing this way. Uh huh. My sound is literally coming from my mouth. Uh huh. Like that's why when the mic you want to get kind of close because it goes directly into that shit and that's uh -huh. it. That's why you got the shell, the uh -huh. shield, and the chaotica and shit on top. That make it more sense. Okay. So now it it literally disperses, nigga. The sound go up, down. That's why you got, I got shit on the ceiling because I usually want to record right here because I'm engineering. So I got this shit above my head right here. So yeah. when the sound go up, it's going straight in there. Mm -hmm. Carpet is always great. This shit right here, this is hollow, but it's diffusion. See, them shits poking in and out. Mm -hmm. So the sound, my sound is basically breaking up. It's not absorbing. It's just breaking up as it bounces through the room. It's right. still bouncing. All the sound is not evaporating. We right. still gotta hear each other. But you, right now, as you hearing me talk, you hear me talk directly from my mouth. Mm -hmm. If you was out there, sound will be bouncing all around. Like you'll hear me all over. Mm -hmm. You'll know the difference when you walk out. Yeah. But what this does is when I say something, mm -hmm. the sound literally bounce from here. Some sound, like the same sound, is literally going in deeper. So this one is bouncing back quicker than this one is. Mm -hmm. Like this one, they both coming back to you. This one is gonna come back first because it's hit. It's called the fusion. It's, it's break. That's this. This is something that's more important than this. This it, it just breaks up the sound waves. This don't really do nothing. This is a cheap way, but because I got the knowledge, I use the shit to my advantage. You get what I'm saying? Tight shit. Because I know about. Put it in my way. I know about how they place all this type of shit, but I never knew it that deep. You know it, what I'm mean? saying? It, it's 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 weird. Because I knew it get that deep, and I was in the process of trying to learn it. But you just made it sound so clear. That's that's why I got like this material because uh -huh. this anytime you see that layer type of shit, that's uh -huh. diffusion. So this is good for diffusion and absorption. Now here's the thing, you don't always want to have a flat ass absorbed ass room. Right. You don't want shit to be dead. Right. You want to have some type of room because it's that's what real life sound like, and yeah. you want your your vocals to sound real life. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? If that makes sense. Yeah. Uh huh. That makes perfect. Because you can get it to the point where it's I flat, it's just your voice, but it's like, not going. Yeah. Because I noticed like when I uh when I stop sitting there like that, I noticed when I sit it across from my closet door, mm. I get more of a a less of an echo. Like it's more like a compressed again. sound. Yeah, I got all my clothes. I got hella shit now. So it's it's uh -huh. your, your, your voice is yeah. Uh, you get what I'm saying? Yeah, now nah, it make more sense. Now you broke it down like it. It's still sound, so it's not gonna just go away. It's not gonna be muted. Exactly, cause yeah. I still hear my little shit, but it won't it won't uh bleed over the beat. 
Boom. It'd be enough to the beat. I'm not like, gonna say no more than that because just that idea, I want you to feed of like now when you record uh -huh. how to set yourself up. Yeah, yeah. yeah and it's uh -huh. simple. Like uh -huh. remember, I, I know you. I, I tell. I only said. I only said that because you said you were overthinking. I'm overthinking too. Yeah, so. yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm glad you made it sound like that. Yeah, okay. yeah. You'll get it. Uh huh. This is some shit I was fucking with. And then another thing I, need to play the mix I did to suppress shit. my overthinking, I can say, What's is that? reminding myself like we you you're not wrong for overthinking because we got a brain to think. Mm. Our brains don't overthink. We thinking when we sleep. If we was in a coma, we think we are not functioning at the moment, but we thinking about something. Okay, we might not remember what the fuck, but we thinking about damn. You feel me? Yeah. Type shit. We thinking about something we just don't know. It's kind of like we got a brain to think. Like, yeah, that's deep. Oh God, that's deep too. That's why I, that's why I like say sometimes. Bria, be, she'll probably ask me a question. She, or am I overthinking? I'm like, you got a brain to think. Mm. You don't overthink. Mm. You might not say everything out loud, but you don't overthink. So overthinking ain't the problem. You just gotta, cause you can't be overthinking. Our brain always work. Right, that's right. a functioning brain. Right. So you want to overthink sometimes. Like, you just gotta know how to control your thoughts better. Gotta bring yourself to the present. Uh huh. You gotta be in the present. Uh huh. You gotta be in the present. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's how. I, once I figured that out, it kind of suppressed my anxiety a lot too. Yeah, I got bad anxiety. It, me too. Cause increased anxiety is gonna increase the the thinking. Yeah. And that shit is just like uh -huh. a, it's just one way to. And it's neck and neck, so it all go. To, it all connects. So yeah, my, anxiety that's, gonna that's where I'm at too. Not being so hard on myself, like nigga, stop being I was so just talking about myself. that with Bree. I was like. I'm like, hey, I'm too hard on me. Like, yeah, yo, I be beating myself yo, black, up. Black, black, black men don't realize that shit. Mm, really they really this don't. Shit. We be beating the shit out of ourselves. And the yeah. folks like us that's realizing it are already, you feel me? Hey, we going through a, we going through a different uh, it, uh, evolution. Yeah, because it made it made life less stressful for us. Yeah, and more easy. And, and we don't know what the fuck that is. Mm -hmm. We never seen it before, so exactly. we just like we just we're really we really out the moment. Yeah. Yeah. We ain't living in a fairy tale. But I look at I look at my kids because I got a boy okay. and and I got a girl. But uh -huh. looking at the boy, like, damn, he he. If the more I get my shit together, the more he ain't gonna have to even experience no yeah. shit like uh -huh. that. Like he really gonna go. He he gonna be a vlogger and shit. You, and that's, that's the crazy. only his only kid uh -huh. in the world is gonna be doing mm -hmm. that shit. Like, and I I love that. Like, mm -hmm. That's crazy. Like he ain't gonna have things I had to get out. Exactly. That's what I was just. I was just talking about this earlier today. I was like, that's why I go, oh, why I go so crazy. Cause like, I was like, that's why I'm slick aggressive. Cause like, folks always be like, too aggressive. Or like, females aren't you aggressive. I'd be like, they, I, I'll never tell them. Cause it'd be like, shit, shit, I've been through. It's like, everybody go through shit. So it's like, right. I don't wanna sound like I'm complaining. No. Right, right, right. You, know, you feel me? Like, but at the same time, I got reasons. Else, like everybody yeah. else. I went through the real life shit. Like, yeah. it got my reasons. So, even if my words might come off of, I'm not trying. It's just that's how it always been. Like yeah. since I was little, like little boy type. Like just, just so. when you strike me as somebody who gives, give yourself the time to, mm -hmm. to help, mm -hmm. to, to, to process. The, sometimes yeah. we don't even give ourselves the time, but we just be on exactly. the bro. We don't exactly. even the process. And at once, at one point in time, I wouldn't process and shit. Exactly. We just fucking go. I was there. It really helped me. There. It's when the pandemic started. Yeah, me too. Me too, nigga. Me too. Nigga, all that shit you see right mm -hmm. here, bro, I literally got with the stimmy breath. Not all of it, but yeah. like, like, nigga, the startup, I can say all of it because the startup of all this shit is literally from stimulus breath. Nigga, the pads and all. Yeah. The whole yeah. idea to, now I can get a three bedroom instead of a two. Yeah. Thank you. Um, you have a table? Oh, oh, just pull that up for me if you don't mind. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. You can place that cup right there. Yeah. Little hand with the ladies, with the women. Mm -hmm. Please and thank you. Bro. <laughs> nah, that shit bro. go. It's, it's, it's bro, that's something I just recently learned. Bro, please and thank you. I love how to learn it too. Just and it was crazy. Too. I was just telling Bree about that too. Like some weeks ago, I was like, the reason I, I just recently started learning how to deal with females like the past three, four years. And when I when I realized when it clicked, I'm like, why don't I know how when I've been raised by mostly females? Me too. I don't know my dad. So and then my auntie's always been there. I got uncles, I got hella father figures, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? But 
I had a stepdad. That's the only thing I look at as a dad. But other than that, like, I don't know my dad, mostly females raised. So, like, yeah. me not being able to deal with him, I look stupid. Yeah. Telling folks, I was raised by mostly females. They going to think. They gonna, they might not say it. They going to be like, how he, he don't know how to. Yeah. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? So. Nigga, I was there. I was there. Yeah. So, what if. Doing that. So when that pandemic hit, I started working out, all type shit. Oh god, I was bigger like. Nigga, me too, nigga. I was a mother, nigga. I, I mean, I'm big now. I got mm. my, I got a little weight back, but nigga, I was, I was nigga before that. Like, I, was, I don't know what the, f- yo, bro, that shit is. That, that whole pandemic shit was crazy, bro. Yeah. That whole era, mm-hmm. even, even, the, even, the, even the uh, that shit was crazy. place we in now, uh-huh. like the, the, the spiritual space in the realm we in now. You know, there's another crazy, one about bro. to hit. Huh? You know, there's another one about to hit. You think so? Yeah, they say in 2025. It's that another one on here. It ain't. They they said it. They've been talking about it. Another one will come in twenty twenty five. It's shit. been all on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, YouTube. This shit ain't no coincidence. Exactly. I, I was saying like. Yeah, and if they pre planning that happening. It was crazy. Somebody uh, I just watched this breakdown video. They was talking about like Trump and all that shit behind yeah. the pandemic and all that. They were like some. You gotta think about it. All this shit really be staged. Like Trump had a conference before the pandemic, and when niggas left, they had COVID. What you think they were trying to do? Okay. <laughs> they was getting this shit set up. Like, they, they, that shit didn't start from that. Oh, from China. That shit don't make no sense. Exactly. They should spread like that. Exactly. They would have been stopped. That shit. Exactly. I mean, we, we, watch, we all watched them stop. That's what I said. We all watched them stop exactly. H1N1. Exactly. How you ain't stop that? You feel what I'm saying? How you ain't stop? I knew I wasn't. From stop. China to a boat to Me and my granny is to all over the world. Exactly. That don't make no sense. But yeah, I no. think I ain't gonna hold you. My conspiracy theory, I ain't gonna say don't think I'm crazy because I, I feel like nigga, you over my nigga. Uh-huh. I think that shit got something to do with them niggas. That was out of slavery. That's what I was, I that that what what I was saying. That's what I was saying. People talking about all of these people because we don't know what's out there. I don't want to offend nobody on the blog or nothing. Uh-huh. Like that, but people, again, this is my personal opinion. Yeah, that per- hey, I talk my shit. So yeah, yeah, yeah. You open and talk. This is a channel. I talk. You talking shit, bro? Right. Lay it out, bro. Motherfucker, mad people die. I watched them videos too. All them niggas carrying motherfuckers out the window, the mass graves, niggas and niggas looking like saw. You know, just they have sausages and they mm-hmm. connected and shit. Pulls, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I watched nigga body bags come out, nigga videos of this shit, like real life, real time mm-hmm. shit. And I don't know nobody that died from that shit. I don't know nobody that know somebody that know somebody that died from you know that what shit. All them, what, who, what the fuck is all them bodies? Right. Those are Billy people that's dead. What yeah. are those? Are those actually fucking? What's going on? And that was crazy. The thing about that virus, I'm like, I never got it. Me neither. I got, I got a little sick, but I don't think that was shit. There was no different yeah. from the people. I only got. I had a cold for about four days, and my foot. When I got that cold, my mom, my granny was trying to, trying to treat me like I had it. Like not when I came downstairs to walk past, but like when they see me coughing and shit, they uh uh-uh. uh. Not over here, um. That shit is cow. What's the, what's the difference between me and You know what I'm saying? You, I like we. I, I used to tell my grandma every day, we got to call. I have to call. We was calling before this. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? Bro, it was, it was a mind. It's a mind fuck, bro. All right. It's a mind. It's a mind. It's a brainwash. Niggas don't even feel comfortable talking about that shit out loud. And I think, nigga, that's something that we should talk about. We was really... I don't care. We was really stagnant. Yeah, but that shit was really... That was like the blip in fucking Avengers, nigga. Because uh, there'd be a lot of famous YouTubers trying to speak on it. But you got to think. Even though all of them try to speak on that's not enough. We need us as the world. To be like, yo, what the fuck was that? Yeah, like. What the fuck? Because what the fuck was that? Right. Yeah, and I did take that time, my nigga. I, I took that money, my nigga. I put that shit in something. Like, oh, nah, shit. we. You know, see, I'm about to start going crazy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but yeah. I took that shit and I put it into something creative and constructive, my nigga. Yeah, that's what and I did, and, and I got my mind right, bro. I really Me healed too. from a lot of things. Me like, too. I still, I'm bunk, like, I still, be, like, to drink it just earlier today, I was thinking, like, damn, it's really crazy how much shit that I actually had to repair. Yeah. Just in my mind and my emotions. Yeah, me too. Nah, for real. And watching hella YouTube videos and watching hella following, subscribing to hella mental health niggas and mm. fitness niggas on there. Mm-hmm. That's why I learned. That's how my Instagram is. Like, because I ain't gonna lie. But, like, the nigga I am today, I only been this nigga about four years type shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, about, but, but about three. But you ain't been this nigga four years, but you might be this nigga for the rest of your life. You know what I'm saying? And if I am, 
I ain't tripping because the nigga I am, I like that. I, I like, I strive to be better than I was. Yeah, just, yeah, so. yeah, bro. You, you, yo, bro, me and you gonna click the You feel what I'm saying? I said the same. That's my, that's my yes. mom. You know what I'm saying? I said it as, as, I'm telling you. Better than yesterday, bro. Exactly. Every day better than And yesterday. I learned that off you, too. Mm-hmm. During the pandemic. Because when the pandemic started, I was like, that's bad when I, when I was overweight and shit. I used to, and this would click right before the pandemic. I was watching a little vlog on YouTube. I don't know if you know about Castanet. But, yeah. this, but this before Casanet was Casanet today. Yeah. But this back when he was had a yeah. name, he just went today. But I'm watching him, these niggas in Miami, a lot of look, a lot of look fit niggas and shit. I don't, damn, I don't, man, I wish I was like that. Like, yeah. Um, well, I start thinking, shit start clicking because I'm overthinking. I took yeah. advantage of my overthinking for the good. That's where people fuck up. Yeah. They slip into taking advantage subconsciously of their overthinking for the bad. But if you grasp it and you notice it, you can take advantage of it, it for the good. Being in the present. And I'm a victim of what you just described. And I am too. I'm, I'm just better than I was four years ago. Yeah, yeah. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And, and, it's, a, and, and it's an everyday. It's an everyday grind. Okay. It's every day. I don't think, I don't think, I, 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 I'm realizing that I might die doing this shit. Like, mm -hmm. doing that, like, mm -hmm. understanding mm -hmm. that, that, that. Don't you feel me? Don't what the what to what to invest in? What basically allocate your energy towards? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And your thoughts and your yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. For real. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. For real. Uh -huh. We gonna die doing that, bro. Nah, no, for real. And we gotta keep doing that shit in the good way, in the exactly. positive, in, exactly. in the positive I'm direction. I'm on food. Yeah. Exactly. I'm definitely I'm on food. Like, why not? Ain't shit ever going on. This song right here called "No Examples." It's basically about growing up. Okay, with bet. no examples and, and, and how to process certain shit. Yeah. And I really just broke this shit down in two verses. Uh -huh. that, that I did in two verses. Okay, I'm gonna fold with this. Nah, we ain't had no examples. We was young niggas rapping more than we can handle. Who you to speak to when nobody understands you? Fuck a role model, rather follow what my man do. If he get shot, then my mama gonna be up like a candle. If he get knocked, then I'm gonna probably be up in the jam too. It's not what I want, but I'm not sure of what I can Know my true potential, watch this hope that I can stand Life with no examples, have you shitting on your family Have you missing shooting sacrifices for a plan B hey. Not sticking to hey. the stand, hey. to focus hey. on your grand yeah. feed Look, I was like trying to fill the voice that you keep making For my metal figures in the can Like some black keys, what the fuck is puberty? Who gon' coach me to act me? When I get disrespectful, who gon' yoke me up and slap me? Living life with no examples yeah, like Have you cooking crack up at like the table that. like it's food? Have you hopping trains, jumping fences, skipping school? Have you out here looking like a motherfucking fool? Ain't one on this earth that can do what you can do Do you know your worth? Do you know how much you can lose? Do you know your worth is just a level you can choose? Yup, so set the bar high This a marathon, nigga, this ain't no car ride Yeah, you got to split, right? And you got to give it to you, sir. You and Arizona got to split. 
Before y'all, y'all yeah. got the energy for it. We can bring some of that old Most of the people, that most of the people, yes, like, man. in this day and age, be more shocked because they more in the house. Mm. Like, even though I was one of the ones that got out, not all of them did that, like, or yeah. me and my bros, you know what I'm saying? I ain't know, I ain't know, I ain't know that's what it was. Them is more in the house, so it's that's crazy. how these niggas getting these views. Like, these niggas in the house, these kids growing up in the house watching these niggas. It's day. crazy because y'all niggas is embarking on this journey, reaching the, 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 the levels that y'all yeah. reaching. And y'all, y'all need to have a fear mm -hmm. of, of it. Should just, that shit is like it, that's uh -huh. the shit that's mind boggling to me every day. Like, but the thing about our my generation, like more, more of more kids, like more folks younger than us and around my age, like deal with more anxiety, confidence mm -hmm. issues because they more in the house. They not really mm -hmm. they on the net all day. That's the only thing that's fucking it up. So yeah, it's fun. less people that's willing to. Y'all got that energy. Y'all got that ground up having to physically go around yeah. and make your music heard, have to put mm -hmm. in that real footwork, mm -hmm. which I have been having to do lately. I've been getting that experience, but y'all got y'all got the hunger for it. Yeah, so I, I, if y'all bring that to the net and keep posting it, it's going to eventually get seen. Like, that's how you got a lot of these niggas around your age and shit coming up still because, like, the energy. It's the energy and the promotion. They so got the hunger for it. Really break that shit down, yeah. mm -hmm. I ain't going to hold you, nigga. Like, you really making me understand this shit a little bit more. It's still weird, mm -hmm. but it is weird, it's, it's, but you make them understand this weird yeah. shit, like, uh -huh. Cause yeah. I say it all the time, like, it is weird, but I understand the type of shit. Yeah. Damn. Mm -hmm. This shit right here called smell, my nigga. Because <laughs> sometimes you have a mom, mom, mom. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs>
look, cause I heard your music, I don't even wanna tell you nothing about ideas I got yet. You feel me? I want you to just open your mind to the side. Yeah. Uh -huh.